Hi. Hi. I'm Je uh, uh, Officer Jennifer. Uh, uh, what is? Are you Anna? No, I'm Elvia. Oh, Elvia. Yes. Thank you very much. Please come in. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Follow me to my office. Please raise your right hand. Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Put down your hand. What did you just promise? To tell the truth. Ha please have a seat. Explain to me how you are eligible to become a U.S. citizen. I am married to, yes. to a U.S. citizen. Uh, we've been married for six years. You've been married for six years, okay. How long have you been a legal permanent resident in the United States? Um, I've been a legal permanent resident for uh, 10 years. 10 years? Okay. Um, so, um, what is your full name? My full name is Elvia Piña Velasquez. Spell your last name. V-E-L-A-Z-Q-U-E-Z. -E okay, very good. What is your date of permanent residence? The date of my permanent residence is um, July 1st, 2001. What is your date of, uh, what is your date of birth? Uh, March 22, 1994. Uh, are you born here or were you born in Mexico? I was born in Mexico. Mexico, where in Bouts of Mexico? Jalisco, Mexico. Very good. And uh, what is your country of nationality? Uh, Mexico. Mexico. Was either your mother or father a U.S. citizen before your 18th birthday? No. Okay, good. Uh, are you a Hispanic or are you Asian? Hispanic. Okay. Uh, let me t ask you about your residence. Mm -hmm. What is your current home residence? It is 650 Elko Street, Gonzalez. California. Okay. And have you lived anywhere else in the past five years? Yes. Where have you lived? In uh, 2471 uh, El Camino, Sacramento, California. So when did you move from Sacramento to Gonzales? Um, Sacramento, the, the last time I was living there was uh, May, no, August 2018. And then I moved to Gonzales. Okay. Uh, do you work? Yes. What is your uh, occupation? I'm a teacher. And where do you work? I work in Gonzales. Okay. And what do you teach? I teach English. Oh, very good. Okay. Uh, so, and what level of English do you teach? I teach beginners. Okay, very good. Uh, let, it, let us continue. Have you traveled outside the United States in the past five years? Yes. How many trips have you taken outside the United States? In the last five years, um, it will be, let's see, one, two, uh, between three and five. Uh, three and five trips? Yes. Okay, yes. we really need to know precisely. Can you be more, uh, it says here on your application you took five trips. Okay. I'm going to ask you about your, uh, are all of your trips to Mexico? Yes. Okay. I'm going to ask you about your last trip. Mm -hmm. When did you leave and when did you return? Okay. My most recent tri trip um, was in December. Uh, I went out of the country uh, the 22nd of December of 2019 and then I came back on uh, December 20. Eight. So you. 2019. That was the, that was a few days. So you went to Christmas. We went for Christmas yes. too. Yes. So in the total five years, how many days have you been outside the United States? Um. Less than three months. Okay, less than yeah. three months. Okay, so it says here that you've been outside for 78 days. So that's that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I'm going to continue on to marital status. What is your marital status? Married. You're married, okay, and what is the name of your spouse? Richard Marcus. And how, uh, excuse me, well, what is his date of birth? His date of birth is December 22nd, 1986. Uh, and what is your date of marriage? Date of marriage, uh, it is March 20th, uh, 
2015. 2015. Let's continue. How many times have you been married? Once. And how many times has he been married? Once. Okay, is he an American citizen? Yes. Was he, uh, so was he born here or did he become naturalized? He was born here. Okay, good. We're now going on, oh, excuse me, do you have any children? No. No, not yet, okay. Let us continue. We're gonna go on to part 12, are you ready? Yes. Do you have any questions before we continue? No. Okay. Uh, have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No. Have you ever voted in the United States? Never. Have you ever been de uh, declared legally incompetent? Um, could you repeat that again? Have you ever been declared legally incompetent? Do you make your own decisions or do other people make decisions for you? Oh, I make them myself. Okay, good. Uh, have, you e have you ever failed to file taxes? No. Do you pay your taxes every year? Yes. Do you owe any back taxes? No. Do you pay them together with your husband? Um, not before we were married. Okay, but, but what, um, since you've become married, yes, you do pay them together, okay. Uh, do you belong to any groups or organizations? To my church group. Okay, and what is the name of your church group? It's the Holy, Holy Trinity Catholic Church. Okay, and do you belong to any teachers unions or anything like that? Um, no, no, actually I don't. Okay, any professional organizations? Uh, yes. Yes, which yes. professional organization? To the Salinas Valley Adult Education Consortium. Very good, okay. Uh, they do very, very good work. So uh, let us continue. Have you ever been a communist? No. Have you ever been a terrorist? No. What is a terrorist? A terrorist is a person who kills people. Okay. Have you ever tried to hurt or kill a person on purpose? Never. Have you ever persecuted anyone? No. Have you ever uh, tried to um, use weapons to force somebody to do something that they did not want to do? No. Have you ever belonged to a gang? No. Have you ever had any weapons training? Um. I don't know what you mean by that. Have you have you ever been tr taught how to use a gun or a rifle? Have you um, uh, did I've, you do any training in the military? Did you ever learn how to hunt? Um, only for recreational, so going to a gun range, but no. Okay, very good. Okay, so you uh, so you did learn how to use a gun safely. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, yeah. that's excellent. Uh, Gun safety is very important. Okay, uh, let us continue. Have you ever been arrested? No. Have you ever been in jail? No. Have you ever been on probation? Never. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No. Uh, what is habitual drunkard? A person who drinks uh, daily. Yes. And have you ever um, sold or smuggled illegal drugs? No, never. Can you give me an example of some illegal drugs? Heroin. Uh, cocaine. Okay, very good. Have you ever gambled illegally? No. Okay. Never. Did you ever serve in the U.S. military? No. Do you support the Constitution and the laws of the United States? Yes, I do. What is the Constitution? It is the law of the land. What is our form of government? A demo democratic government. Good. Uh, are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance? Yes. What is uh, the oath of allegiance? Uh, that I will be loyal to the country. Okay, very good. Uh, if the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms in the U.S. military? Um, could you explain bear arms? Yes, bear arms. Are you willing to use a weapon to protect the United States? Um, yeah. Okay, uh, so tell me what is a weapon? Like a gun. Okay, very good. Are you willing to... Um, perform non-combatant duties in the United States. Yes. What are non-combatant duties? Uh, like being a volunteer. Um, you could help with like the nurses. Okay, very good. Are you willing to perform uh, work of national importance at your civilian direction? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay. I ask you to read this sentence, please go ahead. When do we vote for president? Okay, please write this. We vote for the president in November.
Spell vote. V O T E. Spell president. P R E S I D E N T. Spell November. N O V E M B E R. Very good. So you passed the reading and the writing test. Now I'm going to ask you 10 questions. You only need to answer six to, to pass. Are you ready? What does the Constitution do? The, constitu the Constitution sets up the government. Okay, very good. Name one branch or part of the government? Legislative. Good. What are two cabinet level positions? Uh, Secretary of Education and Secretary of Agriculture. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Um, the right freedom of speech and freedom of religion. Okay, very good. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1807? Uh, could you repeat that again? Oh, I said that incorrectly. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Um, the Louisiana Territory. Very good. Name one state that borders Mexico. Texas. Okay, very good. Congratulations. I know you will be a great American Thank citizen. Thank you. Congratulations.